Hello, welcome back to Ayastack. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up email forwarding and autoresponders in Hostinger. So first of all, log into your Hostinger account and you will be landed to this H panel. From here, you have to click on the emails and in the email section, you will see the list of all of the emails that you have available to use. So I have few domains added to this account so I can easily use these email addresses against those domains. So here you can search for the domain that you want to use for the email. So for example, I would like to search for a domain SEO tools bar. So here I have my email accounts already there. You can click on the view all to see all of the accounts and you can create a new mailbox as well if you want to let me create a new mailbox and let's add a password and click on the create button that would create a new email account for us against that domain and now it is asking that uh, how we would like to configure our app and devices we would like to access it with the help of the browser so just click on that and here it will give you option to access it through webmail. So click on that here, type the email and paste the password. And this is your new email account. Now I would like to set up the email forward feature. So for that, I would go back and on the left sidebar, you would notice there is an option forwarders click on that. And here you can create a forwarder and it is saying that you can create 10 forwarders per email account okay so let's cl click on that create a forwarder and here you need to select the email account that you want to use to forward all of the emails and here you have to specify the email where you want to receive the forwarded emails so i would like to use this email so let me copy the email address and paste it here and here you can select another option if you also want to keep the backup or copy of the forwarded emails you can keep it on but if you think that i just need to receive the emails on another email account that you have specified into email address field and you don't need a duplicate copy of those emails you can uncheck that but I will keep it on for now. Click on the create. Now the forwarder has been set up. It's time to test it. Okay. But before that, I would receive a confirmation email. If I will confirm it with this button, then it would be activated. Otherwise it would not work. So click on this button, activate forwarder. Okay. The email forwarder confirmation was successful. Email will start being forwarded to given account. You can now close this page. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, now I am going to use another email account to send an email to this new email account. And I want to see if email is received to this Gmail account. Okay, so let's do that. By the way, it is saying waiting for confirmation. We did not reload the page yet. That's why it is showing that. So reload the page and you would see that the status would become active. Okay, now you can see that status is showing active. That's mean it is ready to be used. So now I'm going to send an email. So let's copy this email address and paste it here. And in subject, I would say testing email forwarding. Hello world. And now hit the send button. Okay, the email should be received here. But before that, I would uh, go this inbox just to see if it is received here or not. So refresh it. All right. I see that the email has been received with the same subject testing email forwarding. And if you open it, the hello world is there. And now let's go back to our Gmail account where we should receive the forwarded email. And yes, we have received that email here as well. So that shows that the email forwarding is working correctly. Now it's time to implement the autoresponders. So let's go back to the hosting rich panel and on the same page in email accounts, SEO tools bar.com section. In your case, it can be a different domain on the left sidebar. You would see automatic reply. Click on that. And here it is saying that only one automatic reply is sent to the same recipient in 24 hours. So, okay, let's try to create one click on the create an automatic reply and here you have to select the email from where you want to send replies automatically in case if you receive any email and here 
I will add the subject. This is automatic reply. And we have the options to set the start and end date. Just click on this date or there is another way you can click on start immediately and you can also select the never end that means there is no end date so in the, those cases start and end date would stay disabled and here you can design your email message that you would like to send out so let's type an email hello thanks for reaching out we are currently not available please contact back in our official working hours okay thanks so let's create it all right it has been created and here you can see this is our automated reply and you can see the subject and it has been started and it is not going to stop ever now it's time to test it let's go back to my email where i received it and here i would copy the test at seotoolsbar.com and click on the compose and paste the email and type the subject need some help and here i would type the content for the email hello i purchased your product now i need assistance to set it up okay now let's hit the send button and see what happens we should immediately receive uh, an automated reply that we have specified okay let's see wait for it okay here i have received an email and it should have sent the automated reply okay so email received on this email address in this email box and the automated responder has immediately sent the selected response that we wanted to send back to that sender and you can see that automated reply has been received that is saying this is automatic reply and this is the body that we have defined earlier while creating the autoresponder okay and that is now working perfectly fine so that's all i wanted to show you in this video i hope that this video has been useful for you if that's the case then please like and share this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and if you have any questions or feedback or suggestions then please leave them in the comment section below i would do my best to reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you in the next video goodbye